get faced with such adversity The only thing I can say is Keep moving forward Infinite anti-reverse Become one with your equipment And turn into a fishing machine I'm gonna fish this spot till my fingers lock up This is the season, these are the breeding grounds And these fish are feeding now Kick back and put my feet up, lounge never That's the equivalent of climbing to the top of a mountain And quitting before you reach the peak to a fisherman My fingers been too smooth this week the peak to a fisherman my Good morning guys, how are you? Finally made it out to the lake this morning And uh, a little a bit later than I wanted to I was out here just a little after it got light But uh, today... I'm gonna go ahead and start out shallow right now. I'm at, uh, okay. yeah, right now I'm gonna start out at about, uh, about 12 foot. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start here and work my way out. Um, usually in the morning, I'll start shallow, work my way out. If I show up for the evening bite, usually I'll start deep, work my way in. If I'm not seeing them, then I'll kind of work my way out, work my way in, go back and forth. Alright guys, so I've been fishing for about 35-40 minutes. I'm only on my second hole today. I'm taking my time kind of working through these shallows. I am marking fish, but they're not biting. I marked a big one. That's kind of what's got me kind of sitting still a little bit. But uh, I got one more hole out here. I'm gonna uh, I already got it drilled. I'm going to go ahead and fish it. And if I don't get any fish off this structure, I'm gone. I'm going to maybe hit it back uh, later this afternoon. But I'm going to go ahead and move over here to this spring uh, behind the camera. There's a spring over there, and I've kind of been waiting for the ice to thicken up a little bit before I got there and poked some holes. But I'm going to go ahead and hop right on that spring and see, uh, see how it goes. Definitely would not recommend you drilling springs. Uh, that's me. I do that, not you guys. You guys make your own choices on what you guys do and what you guys don't do. Right? All right. So we're going to go over here and see if we can't bust a big one. Hopefully there's a lot of food source on that spring and there's a big fat one sitting in there just getting fat on them. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Leeches. They eat everything in this lake. So picking your uh, tube jig. Always make sure that you kind of match something that's in the leg, you know. This real over time, no my structure, no my spot. Every bump, legend rock, work the bottom through the top. Every hump, every drop, I'll be holding trophies. My hopes are high, but hopefully my patience doesn't go awry. If my locations don't provide, I'm rolling on a different Lewis. The Good fish. Just gonna let him run. Just gonna let him run. Anytime you hook these big fish, you gotta let them blow out. You don't want them to blow out at the hole. I say big fish. He made a big run like he was a big fish, but it might be a burb. Man, he come off the bottom about 10 foot to get this tube. Yeah, he ain't fighting hard, but he feels big. Sometimes you just gotta err on the side of caution and play it like he's big, right? When I get him close, he, he's a burb, I bet. It gotta be a burb. I haven't got a burb yet this year. Be cool if I got a big burb it. Circle swimmer, circle swimmer.
This is what happens when you fish 40 foot of water. It takes a while to see the fish. Char. Not a big one. Not a bad one though. Bam! All right, guys, I got a mess here, but uh, 40 foot's where it's at. I knew it. We'll see you guys soon. GoPro, stop recording. So that right there is exactly why you do not stay still. I wouldn't have caught that fish if I was still over here, so. Also, I've located the food. I got tons of smell, tons of movement down there. That fish literally hit it on the drop about 15, 10, 15 foot off the bottom. I mean, he just, whoo, he just launched at it. So that tells me I got super active fish in 40 foot, and that's where I'm going to want to focus most of my time until I see that activeness die out. When I start seeing them slowly coming up, not, and kind of sniffing at it, then I'm going to blow out of there because they're not biting then. I just marked another fish at about 16 foot. Pretty weird. I've been marking fish in the mid column quite a bit today, which is going to tell me to go ahead and get my jig up in the column every once in a while because that's going to attract them. That's going to bring them in from a distance. But all right, guys, hopefully we get a big one. That wasn't the big one I'm after, obviously. You guys know this. I don't know if I'm gonna get this guy to bite. We should throw something different at him, huh? Maybe we should just dead stick it. We'll just get the dead stick it. I'm gonna go ahead and kick my camera off because he's being a pain. Typical, typical fish for this lake. I'm gonna mark him. He's gonna look like he's interested and he's just gonna drive me nuts all day. So if I don't catch this fish in the next five minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on and uh, hopefully I can pull him over to this hole where maybe he might feel a little less catchy and uh, cagey and bite. So stay tuned, and we will get some big fish to do. One. It feels pretty good size. He's fighting good. Woo! I love it. You find them, you find them. All right? Good, good fish. No, she's fighting like he's close, but it shouldn't be that close. I took it so easy on that last one, and this one I just pull up there like he's nothing. Another nice fish. All right, not a bad one, huh? Raw. I need to get a little closer camera. There she goes. Woo! Love it. Do a little fish dance. I always love when I find them. Makes all that drilling worth it, right? I'm gonna bop 10 out of this hole, watch. I was just trying to chill, and that fish completely messed my chilling up. 
Not gonna lie, guys. I'm not always out here just making videos. You guys might see my uh, tripod up all the time, but that's basically just so I can get good fishers of the fish I catch. Good pictures of the fish I catch. Good fishers of the pitch. It. <laughs> I tried to say it again. I couldn't even do it. But yeah, I'm out here just chilling a lot, kind of keeping an eye on things, seeing who's new to the lake, who's doing good. I always got to watch my competition. I like to come out here and see where prey goes fishing. Probably my biggest thing. Yep. All right, guys. Got another one here. Mark looked decent. Probably about another 20 incher. Can't complain catching 20 inches, all right. Let me, I'm gonna fix my camera here a little bit. Oh, now he's tugging, now he's tugging. Now he's tugging. They always do that. You don't know how many fish I lose trying to get all this on video. Ooh, he might be big, actually. He might be big, actually. He ripping it, huh? Wow. Oh, I got big boy. Yeah, buddy. You can take all the line you want because I'm in 40 foot of water. I don't care. All right. That's how you do it. You're in deep water, just let them go. I mean, you try to keep them off the bottom because there is stuff still down there you can get hung up on. I've lost, I've lost a big one in 40 foot where he got wrapped up in some stuff. I don't know. You guys have seen how the other big ones have pulled, so I don't know. Probably 24. Oh, yeah, that ain't nice. He's a 24. He's a 24. Oh, yeah. All right. Big old Goldie. That's what's up. You guys will notice the colors have changed a little bit. I'm in a different part of the lake. These fish's colors. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, All right. He was perfect until I dropped him on the ice. Damn it. Perfect to say. Oh yeah, you guys will notice that uh, these fish are changing colors. I'm just fishing a different part of the lake. They're eating different food down there. They're probably mainly eating smelt. So, uh, they're going to have just a little bit different color to them. Unlike those big ones I was catching on the other end of the lake that were uh, kind of funky. Green and red and orange. A lot of those fish get those colors from actually the salmon eggs. I could be wrong. I'm not a scientist. I've done little bits of research on it, but uh, you know, most of my research is from experience, guys. So if I tell you something, it may not be fact. It is just 100% from my experience. So, which is, I mean, I you know what I'm doing out here. So, I'm not gonna lead you guys in the wrong direction ever. I'm always going to lead you guys to Three Rivers Flying Tackle because they are the best tackle shop in town and you always should support your uh, local tackle companies. Mike in there, he's a great dude. He got me into fishing when I was a wee little dude. And I actually, the first, I did the first, uh, what is that, like work in school kind of program through him and it was a blast working in Three Rivers for a day. But uh, yeah, good people in there, go in there, support them. Go in there and say hi. Uh, I'm gonna make more of an effort to pop my face in there. Less online, more local, right guys? Let's do it. I know some of the stuff that we use is hard to get locally, but I bet you if you talk to Mike on the low key, he would probably special order you something and not let everybody know what it was because that's how Mike is. He's 